We're in the last week and the pressure's on because we've got three um, chapters to cover in the last week and then the final exam. So I'm going to make this as simple as possible uh, in the sense of obviously watch the three DVDs that Mounts gives. But uh, let me really simplify things down because what we're dealing with here and in all the grammar books these uh, verbs are very regular and they're put at the end. And I, I don't think you necessarily have to learn all the different parts off. I think what you have to do is to know the difference between the verbal stem and the present stem. Recognize these are me verbs. I'm going to give three examples of them. Tithemi, uh, didomi, uh, and distemi. And recognize the difference between the verbal stem and the present ten stem. And that's really going to uh, carry you through. Uh, if you know the principal parts. Principal parts meaning the present tense, the uh, future tense, uh, aorist active, perfect active, perfect passive, and uh, aorist passive. So, luo, luso, elusa, le, luca, le lumai, eluthane. So then from that standpoint, then when you look at these three verbs, irregular verbs, they're called me verbs because they end in um, mu, uh, or micron. So then you have uh, tithemi, where the uh, present tense is tithe, um, and actually the epsilon is actually elongated to an eta in the present stem, as you'll see. But it's tithe, and the verbal stem is the. And likewise with didomi, the present stem is dido, but the verbal stem is do. So as you know, with the present and imperfect, that's how you form these bases on the basis of the present stem. And other stems are formed on the basis of the verbal stem. So uh, istemi is exactly the same thing uh, in the sense that the verbal stem is sta, whereas the present stem is hista. So then, having said that, then you look then, and all I'm just doing, I'm making this very, very straightforward as much as I can with uh, tithemi. You'll see why uh, at the end. The uh, principal parts are tithemi, uh, theso, theka, uh, tithemi, uh, excuse me, tithekai, tithekai, etethem. Now, those elements of the principal parts will really help you in respect to it. Because, as I said, the difference between the uh, verbal stem and the present stem will carry you through. I'll give you two examples. One, is, of course, is the present indicative active, tithemi. Uh, the uh, epsilon of the present stem is lengthened to an eta. Tithemi, tithes, tithesen, tithemen, titheti, tithesen. Uh, and then in the aorist uh, form, which basically drops the, uh, the, the, uh, the t, it's going to be a tho, theis, the, thomen, theta, uh, thosen as opposed to the present subjunctive, which would be titho, titheis, tithe, and so forth. So that's the formula that I'm using here, and, and I've just covered tithemi in respect to it, the principal parts and the difference between the verbal stem and the present stem. The same thing with didomi. Didomi, doso, edoka, uh, didoka, didomai, edothen. And then the uh, present um, didomi, uh, didos, didosen, Didomen, didote, didosen, uh, and then the verbal stem, uh, da, which then would uh, be for the subjunctive, um, the uh, Omicron is lengthened obviously to, uh, or drops out actually before the um, omega that's in the subjunctive, do, dos, do, domen, dota, dosen, uh, and so forth. So you can see from this standpoint then the uh, didomi follows tithemi in the same way. And likewise, histemi, which has a number of forms that you'll come across. Um, but the main thing is that you recognize them as me verbs. So <clears throat> from that standpoint, then, uh, histemi, the present uh, indicative active, would be histemi, uh, histemi, histes, histesen, histemen, histemen, histate, histasen. And then the secondary form, and I'm thinking of it obviously in the subjunctive, is Isto, istes, iste, istomen, isteta, istoasen, istosen. And now, I've gone through those really, really quickly, but I think that's all you need to know at this point. In other words, now you can if you want, uh, but I, I, I don't see the use of it. You can learn off the, the different um, um, tenses in respect to these verbs, 
But really, it's not that difficult because, first of all, you recognize they're me verbs, and there's a number of them, especially the estame variety. Uh, and you'll recognize tithemi and didomi. Didomi uh, is obviously very, very, uh, in, very, very common. And so you put them together in the sense that you recognize the difference between the verbal stem and the present stem. And then you've got all the other endings that you know. So when you start seeing things together, reduplication of the consonant, you know, it's going to be perfect. Um, the element of uh, the, the uh, augment that's put in there, and then especially the theta at the ending, which will just going to denote that it's an aorist, for example, an aorist passive, or it could be aorist and subjunctive and so on, especially in respect to a shortened form, which will be a second aorist meaning, as opposed to the present tense with the present stem. You can put all that together with what you already know about all these verbal forms, and then recognize the me verbs are different, and when you come across them, not necessarily learn off all the, the different um, uh, paradigms in terms of their uh, tenses, but recognize what you're dealing with. So you recognize it for what it is, and you're able to look it up and take it back from there. That's the easiest way that I can think of of learning this. Thank you.